In this video, let's create a responsive comparison table. This tutorial will have a different approach than my other responsive table with CSS video. Feel free to check it out and see what works for you. I've linked it in the description. Now let's start. For styling purposes, I added a Font Awesome and Google Fonts links. To start, we will need to create two tables. We are going to wrap these tables inside the tables wrapper div. Each table will also be wrapped with a table holder div with a custom unique class. For the first table, this would just be a one column table that will hold the item description. Let's copy the whole div and paste it underneath for our second table. Now, this time, it will have two columns, two table heads, and two table data for each row. We're done with the markup. Let's start adding CSS. Set the font for styling. For the wrapper, add a display flex and a maximum container width. For the first table, add a flex basis of 33%. The second will be around 67%, so the total would be close to 100% for the two table div containers. Set table border collapse to collapse and add a width of 100%. Add some styles for table head and table data. For the table 2 table data and head, set the width to 50%. Now let's add the responsive CSS styles starting at 640 pixels viewport and below. Set the first and second table wrapper div to a flex basis of 50%. For the table 2, add a width of 199%. I'd like to set it as 199% because we have a border. Now for the second table div container, add an overflow x scroll to allow scroll for the overflowed table. Finally, let's complete the styling. Add a background color to th.
change the color of the icons. Also add a background to the first table body. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching.